Hello, my name is Ken Johnston and I'm a secondary music teacher at Knox Academy in Harrington. I also compose and specialise in choral music. Currently, I'm working with John Harris on a composition project which aims to help and inspire school pupils with their own composing work. This project will go online in September 2012. One of our priorities in this project is to help pupils who are having difficulty getting started. Today I'm going to show you some ideas which might be helpful for a pupil who has limited experience playing a harmony instrument such as piano, keyboard or guitar. In my experience, pupils can often come up with very interesting musical ideas on a tuned percussion instrument such as the xylophone and I'm going to show you how it's possible to develop a simple melodic idea which doesn't require the pupil to base the piece on a chord progression. These initial ideas often come about by improvising on a tuned percussion instrument. I try to encourage pupils to come up with short rhythmic ideas, if possible featuring syncopation. Starting with something strong and memorable like this is half the battle. Often these rhythmical ideas are difficult to write down and may require the teacher to help out. Using a programme like Sibelius will allow the pupil to notate their ideas accurately, listen back to them and experiment with some composing techniques which I'll show you now on the screen. So here's my initial idea. This is a one bar phrase and it's in 4-4 four, four time and this one bar phrase includes some rhythmical interest in particular it's got some syncopation in it sounds like this here it is for a second time now this is the kind of idea that somebody might come up with improvising on a xylophone um, just experimenting with various rhythmic ideas and melodic ideas next a simple idea would be simply just to uh, repeat this. So here is the same thing twice. Now I'm going to just repeat that further so that uh, this is the same thing four times. Now it feels like it needs something else added to it um, and so I'm creating a second part and this is going to be a glockenspiel part and I'm simply going to uh, add the second part starting at bar 3 playing in unison with the xylophone. Now, if I want uh, to create a bit of variety, I might change the glockenspiel part and in the next example, I've moved the glockenspiel part up two steps. So instead of being in unison with the xylophone, it's actually going to be playing in harmony with the xylophone part. So far so good. Now, a completely new idea is instead of having the parts playing together at the same rhythm, either in unison or in harmony, this time I'm going to take the second part, the glockenspiel part, and start it on a different beat of the bar. It's still going to play the same notes as the first part, the xylophone part, but this time because it's starting on a different beat of the bar, it's going to create an effect that we call canon. Now, if I change the notes of that second part, the glockenspiel part, and put them up two steps, then 
Obviously the second part isn't really exactly the same as the first, but it's very similar. It's similar rhythm um, and it's similar in shape, but it's still starting on the second beat of the bar. And we can call this imitation. And now something different again, augmentation. This is where we take that basic idea and lengthen the note values so that it sounds like it's playing, the, the, the actual idea is playing slower, but in actual fact, it's just playing uh, over two bars instead of one bar. Here's the original idea again on the xylophone. This is the initial speed. And now the glockenspiel part augmented. Now if we play those two parts together, this is what it sounds like. And in the next example, what I've done is very similar to that, but once again moved the augmented part, which is in the glockenspiel, up two steps, and it sounds like this. In the next example, I've added a third part and I'm combining some of the ideas that uh, I've already used in the previous examples. So here you'll see the xylophone playing the same initial idea four times, the marimba, which is the third part that I've added, now coming in with the canon starting at the second beat of the bar and the glockenspiel is going to be coming in with the augmented version of the tune. I should also say that the glockenspiel has been moved up two steps there. Play that example one more time. Okay, next I've added a fourth part. In this case I've decided to use the vibraphone and What's happening in here is that I've introduced the, the idea of diminution. Now, diminution is um, an idea where instead of elongating the note values as we did in the augmentation so that the note values are twice as long and therefore the idea sounds slower, what happens here is that the note values are halved and therefore the initial idea sounds faster and actually we can fit two of the initial ideas into one bar and this is what it sounds like on its own. So let's go back to the beginning of that example and put it all together. So a xylophone playing the original idea, marimba doing the canon. The augmentation up two steps in the top part glockenspiel and in the bottom part is diminution. Here it is again. Now, in the next example, what I've done is extended the piece. We have four bars already and uh, an obvious thing is therefore just to extend it by another four bars. And instead of just keeping the same ideas going in the same parts, what I've done is swap parts around so that you will see that when we get to bar five, uh, which has a, a letter A above it, what happens is that the, the parts get swapped around and um, then that is repeated.
Okay, so we now have eight bars. Now I'm ready to extend the piece further by adding some more bars. So in this example, I have my original four bars and then at letter A, starting at bar five, I have another four bars of music, all based on the music that uh, came in the first four bars. And as you'll see, I've just simply swapped around some of the parts so that the diminution part, which was down here in the vibraphone, is now in the xylophone part. And we have a, an augmented part, which is playing uh, there in the marimba, and an imitative part uh, up in the glockenspiel. So from the, the very beginning, I'll play from the, the start of this, and then you'll hear what happens in the second section. Now, in the next example, uh, I've decided to extend this even further so that at letter B, which is uh, bar 9, taking the same ideas as were in the A section from bar 5 to the end of bar 8, and moved everything up a step, and then only done that for two bars, and as you'll hear, then it moves up another step for the final two bars. This is it from the beginning. And finally, uh, another idea is simply to change the overall tempo of the piece. Uh, and in this case, I've decided that I'd quite like this piece to be faster. And so the initial metronome mark, which was before crotchet equals 90, is now crotchet equals 120. Um, so the whole piece is going to be faster and um, hopefully uh, it'll all work. And be quite effective at this tempo. As you can see, just using some fairly simple compositional techniques, it's possible to take one bar of music and extend it and develop it and add other parts and therefore create a piece which is really quite interesting and effective. So I hope that you might be able to incorporate some of these ideas into your own pieces. Good luck composing.